Ugh, good morning, Tatsuki. Uh, um, everyone, listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place named Twilight Forest. In Twilight Forest, time has apparently stopped. There's no way! You're joking, right, mate? Th 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 that crazy bastard Warner was right? Yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Twilight Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. No way! A complete standstill? Now how the hell can life exist out there? It sadly cannot. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. Pokemon are struggling for food out there now. In Twilight Forest, time itself has truly stopped. <laughs> Fish scared. Need now. What freaking moron would do such a thing? I'll get him with me Cutlass for trying to destroy the world. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. What that Warner fellow said was right. The detectives in Torterra came back last night in shock. Me and the Ghoulmaster were with Chief Magnazone when they arrived. Clay and Torterra held their heads down, and that Storm fellow was restless. Twilight Forest's time gear was stolen! Guess these detectives were good for something after all. I'm just upset it was this! Time gear stolen? Well then, who the hell stole it? All those poor Pokemon in the forest need our help. We gotta hold this point! Us is right! We should get in defensive! Wait! Everyone! Chief Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear, but if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer asked to be notified immediately if we notice any shady characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Oh, you there. You two come here. You become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. Despite the issue of payment. So! You all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Sounds awesome. Where are we going? Let me see your wonder map. New Hopeville is here. And over here is where we would like you to investigate. See, there is this waterfall flowing here. By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret. And that's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Good! Alright, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? You're shivering. Uh, are you alright? Yes, I'm, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be the first time I get to do a real job with an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna burst some excitement! Let's do our best, Tatsuki. Sounds great, Edware. You should oughta stayed back at your little campsite. Don't go meddling in my business. Or else. You all about to have a real bad day.
Oh! Tatsuki! And Aidware, too! Huh? What's Doc doing there? Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here. Today, in fact. Assembly? What are we assembling for? No, Tatsuki, not like that. Have you ever considered adding members, Edware? Other members? Well, sure! It'd be cool to add other members. If there are more than just the two of us, it sure would help me explore dungeons! The more the merrier, really. Besides, a fresh face is always appreciated. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh? How do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you. Friendship bell? Just roll with it. This was Wigglytuff's idea. Here it goes! Now Team Lucky has the power to recruit new team members. Really? It was that easy? Yes. From now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from them, and those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Lucky. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring Pokemon along, visit my assembly, then choose which members should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh, wow! Thanks, Doc! Uh, hang on. One quick question, Doc? Yeah, sure. What's up? So, now that you have this job, you cook, clean, provide medical care and procedures... I even heard from Sentry that you're in charge of inventory and loss prevention. Yes, that's right. So, how much do you do for the guild? Yes. You have my sympathy. I appreciate it. Huh? You been assigned to investigate that waterfall? That was supposed to be my damn job! You freaking Sochi's ruin everything, don't you? I'm Tyro. I'm the muscle of the group. Although now that our product is legal, my muscle has been needed less and less. It stinks, but hey, business is booming, and I get to relax for once in a while. Yo, man, how you doing? Dan Shiga, man. I helped make the product. It's totally tubular, man. Really hardcore. Uh, hey, uh, you got anything to eat? Yo, what's up? I'm Corey, leader of Team Crack. You look like you could use a stress reliever. Oh, I, um, I'm good. I don't think I could use that if I wanted to. Oh! Um... What? He said it's good for stress. I'm willing to try new things. <laughs> I like you, rabbit. job here sorry I just haven't seen you guys around before we're team meanie ever since the gun the wars ended we can't find any good jobs this deal I mean take back at home so we decided to take our rescue team here creating mayhem is not as much fun anymore Ginger may not show it, but I know he feels the same way. We miss you, Medicham.
Huh? What's going on? Someone's there at that sign. Um, hello? Oh, hello! It's nice to finally meet some new Pokémon. My name is Whopper, but my friends call me Whopper. But, wait, what does that mean? That means I see everyone as my friend. Including you two. My first new friends on this continent. So you are new here. Let me be the first to welcome you to the continent. Where are you from? I came here from the Air Continent. It's my dream to be the leader of a successful rescue team. So I decided to come here. Really? Why here? The Exploration Team Federation runs this continent. Not the Rescue Team Association. Yeah, I know! That's the exact reason! Rescue teams aren't as needed right now as Exploration Teams. So, if I come and learn how to be part of an Exploration Team, then a Rescue Team should be a breeze in a comparison! I mean, I can see the logic. But what is that place behind you? Is that your rescue team base? Oh no, I was just checking this place out. It looks like some sort of new business is coming here. Coming soon. Vincenzo Speakeasy. Relaxation destination for all explorers. Sponsored by the Intercontinental Mystery Syndicate. Sounds like a nice place. Wait, that name sounds familiar. Yeah, the detectives mentioned that syndicate. They said that they were a bad organization. How did they get a sponsored location here? They're bad? What do you mean? They created a large homeless shelter back in the Air Continent just last year. They did? Yeah! Ever since they got a new CEO, they've been trying to do a lot of good. Or they're just trying to hide something. Either way, I don't think it matters right now. This place isn't even open yet. And after it does, I'm sure we'll learn something about their true intentions. Ooh, a stakeout! Sounds like fun! Anyways, I'm going to go check out the town. It was amazing to meet you. I'm sorry. I don't think I ever got your names. It's fine. My name is Aidware. And my name's Tatsuki. Well, it's great to meet you guys. Hopefully I'll see you guys later. What a nice guy. Yeah, he's a real sunshine in this town. He puts the hope back in Hopeville. Alright, let's get ready to head for that waterfall. Sounds like a plan. them. Why? They're just a plusle. Just trust me here. Hello. I believe I made a discovery. 
Have you ever noticed how every continent has a different bank, storage, and more? But every store belongs to the Kecklingon family. I believe there's more to this than some simple monopoly. The Kecklions are doing much, much more. I just need to keep searching. Cheerio loves we're team epistemi. Each of us are scientists in our own field of study. Dr. Lightbard researches known conspiracies. Dr. Ezra researches the unexplored. And I, Dr. Mjamstick, study robots and machines. Oh my god, Porygon set. How have you been? How was Eins? What? I'm sorry, have we met? Oh, goodness. I apologize, my robotic friend. You remind me of another Purigon set. I wonder how Dr. Eve is doing. It's been so long since we've spoken. He agostre ute in clay ute in safe. Ipe ipe is in ilre. Fortis est voluntas pod mare. Sed secret omnia frangere potest. like for you? Everything I ever wanted. You see... Be so fast. The mama and papa still love me. They have to, right? Swim, swim. Fish is no fish. So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Do I really have to hurt myself on this thing? I really don't want to short circuit. Just suck it up anywhere, it only hurt for a second. Yo! Oh, are you that hurt way more than a second? Aidware, are you okay? Yeah. That water's coming down hard. Try getting close to that waterfall, Tatsuki. What? Why would I do that? Think of something, Abram. He needs to touch the waterfall to stay on track. I think I saw something when I got close. And I don't want to risk short circuiting. Ugh, fine. Why am I doing this? This is dangerous! I can barely stay standing near this deluge. Ah! Tatsuki! Are you okay? I am so mad at you. 
What are we going to do? If you were to fall into this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. I didn't think it would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? Aidware! Aidware! It happened again! What happened again? I just heard you screaming in pain! It was the visions, Aidware! I, I just had another one! I, I, I saw this Pokemon! I couldn't make out who! But they just jumped through the waterfall! And there was an entrance to a cave. I, I think you were right. Something is behind here. Really? That's amazing! Hmm. But it looks like the water's coming down really heavily. It's probably gonna sting really badly if we jump through. Ugh. Oh. So, Tatsuki, is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there is a cave there? The visions haven't lied to us yet. If they can help save Teddy Ursa, then I'm sure they can lead us to the secrets of this waterfall. Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Tatsuki. Yikes. Okay. I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to lead through at full speed, I'm gonna have my life tased out of me. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. I need to summon my courage. Ready. Let's go, Tatsuki. Let's do this. Three, two, one, now! Aid where? <laughs> Reserve error minus 1310 hydration.exe has had a fatal error. Internal server error, waterlogged systems detected. Keyboard has stopped working. Press N key to continue. Do you want to turn on sticky keys? Would you like to report this problem to Redacted? Task has failed successfully. Please read the terms of sir. An error occurred while displaying the previous error. Attempting error report. An error occurred while creating an error report. The script file script slash D04P12A slash M05A0304.ss Ugh. <sighs> Reboot successful. Oh, Arceus, Aidware! Are, are you okay? Yeah, I just blue screened there. After the exploration, I think I need to run a self-test. And, at the very least, update my drivers. Unknown life forms detected. Please give the four-digit code clearance. Oh, this is insanely different. Why does it came up a security system? Why does this came up a security system?
Please give the four digit code clearance. Uh. One, two, three, four? Calculating. 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 Incorrect. Intruders detected. Activating MDDM. What the heck is MDDM? Mystery Dungeon Defensive Measures. That's a thing? The entire cave is shaking! Stay close. Is it over? Mystery Dungeon created. Have a pleasant failure. Well, this isn't gonna be easy. It never is, is it? It's obvious this isn't a normal cave. If I had to guess, we have a fight ahead of us. We should get moving, Tatsuki. Let's see what secrets this place holds. Let's do this! Oh my Arceus! Aidware! Look at all this! Whoever owns this cave, it must be worth a fortune! Look at all this treasure! Whoa! Look over there! It's a gigantic gem! Whoa! That's huge! That's gotta be worth, like, a million Poké Dollars! This is an incredible treasure! Everyone will be amazed if we take this back! Um, Aidware? You don't have fingers. Oh, right. Can you give it a try, Tatsuki? either, Tatsuki. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm gonna give it another go, Tatsuki. Oh no! Ah, ah! It's no good. I can't pull it out. Dadeware, stop! Ow! What the heck, Tatsuki? I wasn't blue screening that time. Dadeware, just listen to me. I had another vision. It was the same shadowy figure like last time. But he was here! And the place was empty! He, he pushed that gem, and then this room flooded! We can't mess with that thing! It's not worth it! Let's just take something else and report back to Mac Cargo. Okay? Yeah, good idea, Tatsuki. I'm glad you had that vision.
Thank goodness. I'll try cracking open one of these treasure chests. This is bad. This is really bad. Acer told me the part was supposed to cause the flood. What was this to do now? I can't let this timeline go out of whack. I'm sorry, Tatsuki. Dadeware! What the heck? I told you not to do that! I swear, it was an accident! I was just leaning! It's coming! Run! What happened? My whole body feels tense. Where am I? You are in my hot springs. Who said that? Goodness. You really seem on edge after that fall. <laughs> but don't worry. The soothing waters of my spring can calm your nerves. Welcome to my hot spring, Casa de Marcos. My name is Marcos Vicente de Valadrio. But you can just call me Mark. What is your name? I'm Tatsuki. Um... Have you seen my friend, Aidware? Floating, pink, likes to twirl around a lot. Ah, yes. La Tomata. He was here. When you two landed in the springs, he started electrifying everyone. The whole spring needed to evacuate, and my people needed to get him out before you were fried. Luckily for you, my spring heals more than just nerves. Oh man, I'm so sorry! I told him not to push that gem! I'm sorry? Uh, pushed gem? Oh, yeah. We were exploring this cave and Aidware lead on this gem? He pushed it, and it caused a flood. It launched us into the air, and I guess we landed here. Do you have a map that I may look at with you? Map? Yeah, right here. Unfold it for me. There. So, currently, this is the hot spring's location. Can you tell me where you were before you landed? Uh, yeah. Right here. We were here at this waterfall. Our guild wanted us to explore it. Oh, wow. The water carried us all the way over here? Yes, I know exactly where you are. Oh, really? That's awesome! Yes, yes. You are in the cave. My cave. With all of my treasures. All blown into the wind. As if it were nothing. Oh, I apologize. We didn't... My cave is outfitted with security measures. Yet, you still continued forward. So don't tell me you didn't know. Sir, I promise you, we'll return everything that was flooded. 
I, I can tell the guild, and we can get it all back. We can get you more. Just don't hurt me. <laughs> you, you're not mad? Of course not, Miho. My vast swath of wealth is stored much more securely around the world, and my workers can easily look around and pick up whatever was washed away. There's no problem. Don't think, Arceus. So, where is Aidware? Ah, yes, we were discussing him. Well, I must say, that's muy cool. Are you from New Hopesville? You mentioned the guild. I assume it belongs to Wigglytuff. Yeah, that guild. <laughs> Creo. Como va Wigglytuff? My associate, Vincenzo, is opening a speakeasy there. Oh, that's your place? Wait. You work for the IMS. You could say that, yes. Anyways, one of Vincenzo's workers accidentally bought too much rice. He didn't need all the excess and couldn't return it. So, when my associate brought him over there, he was more than happy to give him a rice bath. Your amigo should be all dried up by now. <laughs> I'll escort you over to him. Thank you. You've been awfully nice. Oh, hey. Boss is here. How you doing, boss? Who's the pipsqueak? Granville, watch your tongue. This here is my guest. He's the one who fell into the spring alongside La Automata. We're here to see if he's all dry. I'll go check. Vincenzo hasn't been too focused on him. Come, let us have a seat while we wait. Darnell, if you could be so kind as to get us some drinks. On it. You got a lot of workers here. But why are only the ghost types doing the manual labor? Ugh. Este pendejo y su libro. Vincenzo found some special book that allows him to summon ghosts. He's taking the lazy way out. Like always. But enough about that. Tell me, mijo, what do you know about the IMS? Not a whole lot. Mainly just what the detectives have said about it. Here you go, Oron and Citrus Berry Smoothies, with some added source for yours, boss. Thank you, Darno. Could you go see what's taking Granbull so long? You got it, boss. And you, Rabbit? I'd listen to what my boss has to say. Might be one of the greatest decisions you ever make. Huh? <sighs> People love interjecting, don't they? Anyway, those detectives are on the payroll of the Federation. They're paid to spread lies about the organization. The Federation and Association have a monopoly on this world, but the Syndicate is much different. I was there when the Federation took over the Marsh continent. 
I was still young, but even at a young age, I saw all the bad things that they did. I remember when the IMS liberated us from the Continental Wars, and ever since, they just wanted to ruin us. It's horrible, really. We needed to try and fix our image for a while. So your group hired people like Team Heisters? Anyone can change, Miho. Anyone. Which brings me to my current offer. I feel like Wigglytuff sent you to my cave for a reason. Do you know Wigglytuff? Oh, absolutely. We've been friends for years. Conocido a este chulo cuando todavía era una chula. He has a knack for picking great explorers. I see something in you, mijo. So I want to offer you a position in the IMS. I can take you places you never knew existed. So, what do you say? Um, what about Aidware? La Automata? Why are you so worried about him? He didn't listen to you about the gem. And in return, he nearly fried you. I know that, but... We're a team. Team Lucky. Aidware has been by my side since I came here. He's a loyal and trusting friend. Yeah. He goofs up every once in a while. But everyone does! And I'm not about to let one mistake get in the way of our friendship. Not now, not ever. This is disappointing. But I will respect your decision. I will leave my door open to you, mijo. Always. But I would keep an eye on him. I wouldn't trust him if I were you. Here he is, all safe and sound. Aidware, you're okay! Yup, all systems functional. We should get going to Mad Cargo. Yeah, we should. Thank you again, Mark. How did it go with the pitch, darling? He rejected me. Seems like they're package deal. I'm unsure why you care so much about him. He's a simple reboot. What can he bring that others can't? I see something in him. I may not be a psychic type, but I can sense his spirit. I can see it in his eyes. A fire of passion and strength, withheld deep inside of him. I had the same passion back home when the IMS liberated us. He would make a great second in command. Oh well, I guess it's a no then. The door is an opportunity to those who seek it. I expect him to come back. In turn, I want everybody to keep an eye on him. Ah, you're the boss. You should head home. You're meeting with those two who wanted to work for the IMS, right? That Morgrum and Zorua? Yes. I should go. I expect to see this place up and running by tomorrow. Or else, te voy a despedazar como un pez. ¿Comprendes? On it. Hmm, let me see if I got this all straight. 
Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. That cave had a large security system. In the deepest part of the cave, there is a gigantic gem. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring? Is that the gist of your report? Yes, it's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. No, no, no! Emphatically no! This is a major discovery! Really? Undoubtedly! After all, the presence of the waterfall behind the cave? No one knew about that before now! Oh, I see! We made a discovery! Wait a minute. Mark said he knew Wigglytuff, and my dizzy spells... That shape... I've seen that shape before! There's no mistaking it! That was Wigglytuff! Your wonderful discovery is just amazing! The Guildmaster must be told! Hang on a minute! While we were exploring, I had these... dizzy spells. And in them, I saw this figure who explored the waterfall already. That security system and the cave belonged to someone named Mark. He apparently knows Wigglytuff, so do you think Wigglytuff already explored it? No, no, no! Emphatically no! That's inconceivable! If that were so, the Guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? I spoke to Mark myself. He thinks the Guildmaster might have sent us for a reason. Could you please just double check with the Guildmaster, Macargo? Uh, since you insist, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. Why would they want to spoil their own discovery? So strange. I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? I don't think anyone could be stranger than a pirate. What was that, Mac Marco? What? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all! Anyway, I'll go confirm what you told me to the Guildmaster. Please wait here. So, how did it go? When I asked the Guildmaster, he mulled it over for a bit. And then he said, Oh, memories, sweet memories. Yoom-ta! Oh, how I miss Marcos, my friendly friend. Then he danced around a bit. And then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, I did go there once. I was checking it for Marcos. And that's just what the Guildmaster said. He then kept dancing for another five minutes, then fell asleep standing up. Sum it up, it's just as Tatsuki suspected. He has indeed already been to that cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we discovered a new place. I wish we could tell the tolls right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather, uh, erratic at times. Even though I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow! Nah. Hey, uh, Aidware? I'm sorry if I spoiled things. I know you were so excited about this, and... No, Tatsuki, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I still moved that gem and caused the flood. You warned me, you shoved me out of the way. Yeah, I still went and leaned against it. Sure, there was that huge letdown. 
But it was our first exploration, and I nearly ruined everything. Honestly, after we tripped that security, we should have just left. Left from where? And jump back through the waterfall? You know what I mean. I screwed up. I could have seriously hurt you in that hot spring. Hey, this is still something big. It was our first real exploration. That's huge! Maybe soon we'll be able to explore a place that'll reveal your relic secrets. Oh yeah, my relic fragment. Maybe you're right, Tatsuki. One day, I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. If it never came true, I'd surely think from sheer happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could help flip our moods around. But seriously, thanks. No problem. I'm happy to bring a smile to your face. No, not for that. I can explore because of you, Tatsuki. Yes. I need to summon my courage. I'm the biggest chicken around and even I managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me, Tatsuki. Seriously, Tatsuki, thanks. Of course, buddy. Oh, yeah! You know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, Tatsuki. What about them? You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Huh. Wait. Yeah! Like with Teddy Ursa! Sorry, mister. Oh, it's no problem at all. Here's your apple. Then when Drazi was leaving? Whoops. Excuse me. Then twice at the waterfall. Gah! Tatsuki! Are you okay? I am so mad at you. Can you give it a try, Tatsuki? I think you're right, Edward. It always happens after I touch something. That's really odd. Maybe we should experiment with that. There's one more thing. When you rescued Teddy Ursa, you had a vision of the future. But this time, you saw Wilutef going to the cave, right? So that means... This time, you saw an event that occurred in the past! You're right! Is it always inconsistent? In other words, Tatsuki, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally incredible. You can use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring either. The ability could be useful for many things. It's fantastic, Tatsuki. Well, yes, I guess that's true. But that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It would be useful if I could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two. The good master wants to see you right away. Guild master, I have brought you Team Lucky. Guildmaster? Guildmaster? Hiya! Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. I hope Mr. Marcos is kind to you. He was! Thanks for checking! But don't worry, I'm keeping watch of your activities. 
should tell you why I called you here. We're planning a mount a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes! The guild will go explore someplace far away. The Exploration Team Federation are hiring us to discover more about this continent. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for a big trip properly. We're going to carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually, we would never, ever consider rookies to be expedition members. Not after last time, anyways. But, you two are working so very hard! That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? No, no. You haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There is still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can handle it. Try hard! Yes! An expedition! Isn't it fantastic, Tatsuki? My cooling system is pounding all of a sudden. You mean your heart? Yeah, whatever you call it. Let's try your best to make sure we get picked for the expedition. I'm ready to get to work. Have a good night, boys. I'm proud of those two. They've come such a long way. Yes, they have. But something's been bothering me all day, Guildmaster. Why, oh why, did you send them to that cave? You said yourself, we have to stop being easy on recruits after Scrimshaw. It's all fun, fun, fun! I have a great big plan, Chadot. Chadot? Guildmaster, I'm the only one here. Who's Chadot? A story, Mr. Barcargo? Slip of the tongue! You just remind me of someone. Is all. Hmm. Oh, I bid farewell to the port and the land, and I paddle away from brave flotsam's white sands, to search for my long ago forgotten friends, to search for the place I hear all pirates end. As, As the, the souls, souls of the dead fill the space of my- Damn it, fellas! Shoot, son, you all slow as molasses. Come on, Oz. If we have to be on drunken pirate duty, can we at least sing the shanties? You just ain't doing it right. Hey, it's all his fault. Drugs can't sing. Did I ever tell you boys about the time I took out the Grim Reaver? Yeah! yeah. Oh. Can I tell you again? No. Do I look like a mule, boys? I can't carry this whole dang team. Get going! Come on, up the stairs. There you go. One at a time. I think I left my flintlock at Jen's place. We'll get it in the morning. Let's just go inside and... What dumb son of a bitch are... Whoa! Oswald, keep your voice down! Am I too drunk or did one of you forget to lock the guild's gate? No! I saw Oz do it when we left. Someone broke my lock and snuck out. 
who would sneak out this late at night? No idea, but I'm about to kick some ass. Hooey! They ain't gonna know what hit him. That'll likely be bullets, statistically speaking. It's past midnight, right? Whoever snuck out must have snuck back in by now. But who would do this? Just a dead little jackrabbit. You what, mate? I had nothing to do with this. Um, I don't think he means you, Scrimshaw. Oswald, just because they failed sentry duty doesn't make them a spy. They don't even have proof. Like, why would they want to sneak out? I'll get proof. Come on, sentry. We got a lot of work to do.